Hi all, in this new video, we are going to learn about IoT LoRa based Smart Agriculture and Remote Monitoring System. Smart Agriculture means monitoring environmental conditions that influence crop production. We will use the LoRa Soil Moisture Sensor that is based on 8 mega 8 microcontroller LoRa model RFM95 and AST10 humidity temperature sensor. The AST10 digital humidity and temperature sensor measures the local air temperature and humidity. The capacitive soil moisture sensor will measure the soil humidity and moisture. Hence, all the major data can be sent wirelessly up to few kilometer distance and can be read by receiver. Both the transmitter and receiver is designed using the LoRa module. The transmitter operates on low power mode. So, just by using a AAA battery, the device can be operated over few months. So now, let's begin with this interesting project. So, here is the LoRa temperature, humidity and soil moisture sensor that I purchased at $15 from Maker Fabs. You can purchase this. PCB assemble board from the same link. So the documentation is very clear here. The best part about the sensor is it has a receiver as well and the receiver cost around $18.90 and is made of RFM95 LoRa module. It supports the frequency of 433, 868 and 915 MHz. The product documentation is very good and very clear. You can learn more about it from the, this link. So this is the LoRa transmitter that is made using soil moisture sensor, AST10, air temperature and humidity sensor. The PCB size is very compact and all the components are very nicely assembled on this board. You can see a LoRa module that is RFM95 that operates at 433 megahertz. On the top of the side you can see there is a sensor and here you can see a microcontroller that is 8 mega 328 microcontroller with Arduino bootloader. And here you can see a triple five timer IC that is particularly designed for measuring the soil moisture sensor by capacitive sensing. And here is a connector for USB to TTL converter from where you can upload the code. You can also connect an external ISP if you want. So here is a reset button that is used in place of DTR for resetting while uploading the code. And at the top, you can see there is an AST10 that measures local air temperature as well as humidity. And you can see there is a place for another antenna, but an antenna is already assembled here. On the back of the side, you can connect two battery, that is two AAA battery. And here is the soil moisture sensor that can be dipped inside the soil. It is painted with waterproof paint. So there is no chances of corrosion and has a very very long life. So this is the LoRa soil moisture sensor version 1.1 that you can purchase from Maker Fabs. To program this board you need USB to TTL converter that is based on CP2102IC. So the board operates at 3.3 volt. So connect the VCC to VCC, TX to RX, ground to ground. But you need to um, solder a male header pins if you want to upload the code. So just solder the male header pins here. So here is the receiver part. So the receiver has the same LoRa module that is RFM95. It also has a same uh, 8 mega 328 microcontrollers that can be termed as Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. So here are few jumpers uh, that determines what is the frequency that it is operating. So 433 MHz 868 and 915 okay and here you can see there is the same spiral antenna that you saw on the LoRa transmitter on the back side you can see there are the GPIO pins assigned that is the same pin that you see in the Arduino microcontroller that is from analog A0 to A5 and from D0 to D13 okay so here you need to solder the male headers as well. So the male headers can be soldered on all the three sides. 
and to upload the code to this board you don't need usb to ttl converter you can simply upload the code using the micro usb cable on the right side you can see there is a point for battery so here is a code for the loader transmitter the code has a three part and uh, using this three part we are sending the humidity temperature and adc value of the soil moisture sensor all the low power modes are defined here and you can change the interval and uh, the control the power using all these codes so now you need to install a library for rfm95 that is lola radio library so just download the library and get to the library folder so now connect usb to ttl module to the board and then just install a battery a pair of battery triple a battery so now you can connect this board to the computer and then simply go to the tools select the arduino pro mini that is 5 volt sorry 3.3 volt and 8 megahertz okay and then select the com port after that you can upload the code now just put this sensor in a field or in a farm or where you have kept your flower pots so i have kept this uh, inside a vegetable plant do not dip all part of the sensor on the soil only level part need to be dipped in the inside the mud so this is how the sensor will start operating and sending the data wirelessly now let's see the receiver code the receiver operates at 43 megahertz that is assigned in this board okay and the power is also controlled so all the parameters are defined here and you can change the power from here if you want and then it will just receive the replay and show in the serial monitor so all you need to do is just connect the micro usb data cable to this board okay and now go to the same tools and in the tool section just select pro or pro mini and select 3.3 volt 8 megahertz select the right board so once the code is uploaded on the board the side you can see the transmitted and the received data that is successfully displayed on serial monitor so on the receive side you can see the humidity temperature the adc value from soil moisture sensor and the rssi the replay is sent and the packet is received so this is how a smart agriculture work so thank you for watching